Yamazumi chart is a stack bar chart that shows the balance of cycle time workloads between a number of operators. It's typically used in an assembly line or work cell environment. Yamazumi is a Japanese word that literally means to stack up. And we're going to show you how to save the results of your line balancing to a Yamazumi chart in Excel. Uh, and the screen here you see a balance we have already got in place and uh, Every one of these little uh, chips here actually has a video attached to it. So if I point at this, you can play the video and you can see the operator performing the task. This is inside the Timer Pro Professional package. I close out of this, pointing anywhere on the white background. I click the right mouse button and then I go to Yamazumi chart. And the data that you see on the screen is now going to be put and put in the background. You can see actually building the Excel template in the back, background here. Uh, one row is equal to one second in this case. So the height of the chip has been represented by the number of rows that you see here. You can see it drawing each of the chips in turn. You can imagine doing this manually would take quite a bit of time. Now you can see the charts have been placed into the Excel sheet. If I just change the resolution now so I can see it perhaps a little bit better, let's go up to 75%. And we'll move over to the one that we saw a few moments ago. It was the get screw in position. That was the one that we saw in the uh, in the line balancing screen. I can double click on it right here from Excel, and it will now play that particular video directly from the Excel worksheet. So there you can see the operator performing the same uh, operation. In fact, what's happened is the video clip has actually been passed over into Excel as well, so you can play it directly from your sheet here. If I zoom in a little further, and uh, let's say I went to maybe 40% here, and you'll see the full chart just as it's been presented in the, um, in the Timer Pro Professional here. If I make it a little smaller now, just so we can see it better, I'll zoom it in perhaps to 50%, uh, 25%, so you can see it here. You can see the colors on the screen here uh, are representative of what was actually back in the actual chart that's viewed. Now, if we wanted to change the background colors, we can click on the default colors here. And I'm just going to change the background color perhaps to yellow. Click on the OK, click OK. The background of the chart here is now yellow. If I send it out to the Yamazumi, you'll notice it starts to build the background like it here. Okay, and this time we'll put it down, we'll change the zoom factor, uh, perhaps to 35% uh, just so we can see here. So you can see the chart represented, the chips are the same colors that, are, that were on the uh, Timer Pro Professional, and here we have the yellow background. In the example we just covered, each row in Excel represented one second. There may be times when the actual times in your chart are so small that you might want to change that particular scale. To do so, you click on the view here on the menu of the Timer Pro Professional. You go to the default time units and here you can change the number of rows per time unit in the Yamazumi. For instance, if I want to use five rows for each second, I can click here and do it, set it to five, click on the OK, then I hit the right mouse button again, select the Yamazumi chart, and that will go ahead and build the chart. This time, five rows will represent one second in time, or one hour, or one minute, depending on your unit of measure here. And you can see that here, it's actually putting in the um, individual times broken into 0.2 of a minute here. If I zoom in a little bit, you'll see that closer. Let's say I zoom in to 75% and page down a few. You can see here the times are actually measured to within 0.2, in this case 0.2 of a second. Many lean practitioners advocate the development of manual Yamazumi charts either by drawing by hand or by doing it directly in Excel. Either way it can be extremely time consuming. Of course in Timer Pro you're able to drag and drop work content around to improve your balance directly on the screen. And if you want to print out your Yamazumi charts, you can print them out to scale in literally seconds, saving a, man a massive amount of manual effort here. Okay, you can imagine drawing that chart by hand here. If I make it just a little smaller so we can see it here, maybe go to like 40%. 
and you'll see the full chart on the screen here. From Excel, of course, you can print the chart out any size that you'd like. However, it'd be printed out either on a plotter or on a, on a regular paper. There are several suppliers on the market, however, that do supply magnetic paper that can be run through inkjet printers. Uh, some of these are quite expensive if you're looking at only one sheet. By the time you're up to maybe 100 sheets, you're down to about a dollar or so a sheet, and it becomes more affordable uh, to do this approach. And Timer Pro does, in fact, support it. If we go back to the Yamazumi chart, you can see there's an additional tab down at the bottom of your Excel sheet called Chip Print, where the actual content is compressed together into a one sheet ready to be printed. If we look at the uh, print sheet in a little more detail here, I'm just going to highlight the, uh, the area with the uh, data in it. And I'm going to zoom in here and I'll fit to selection. And what you can see here is all of the uh, bars have been compressed together to make the maximum use of the available paper. And also notice that we've actually got the reference numbers in each of the chips. This is operation two, uh, chip one, operation two, chip two, two, chip three, two, chip four. And that's because when you print out in the magnetic sheet, you may well want to cut up the chips to allow the people to manually move it around on the board on the line. Excel, of course, is an excellent tool to be able to print out material. You can see here the margins that would be set if we print it normally here. We can do several things to make it fit on the paper we have available. For instance, we can go to page setup. We can tell it to fit to one page by one page and it will automatically adjust it to fit the full thing to the page. And then we can do a print preview to see what it looks like on the printed page here. Uh, from here, of course, you can go ahead and print it on the magnetic paper, and then it would just be a case of cutting out the chips and putting them onto your magnetic board. This time what I've done, I've printed out the Yamazumi chart with uh, five rows equal to one second, which of course makes the chart a, a great deal bigger. Uh, if I go to the chip print here, you'll see again uh, many, many pages could be involved here. Uh, in this case, one of the things you can also do is you can go back up and you can highlight the range of rows that you want to change the size on. So I'm going to just highlight the full uh, document here uh, that I want to print. And then I can click here. I can go and change the row height and maybe change it down to maybe three instead of 12 pixels. And that will reduce the size of everything. Again, allowing me to print it out in a lot more compact format so I can handle the, uh, the larger scales in the Yamazumi as well.